Okay, here we go. I'm just going to start on the top of this paper here with an HB pencil. See how I have all of my pencils with different colored eraser tips just so I can easily identify them. Anyway, my blue is my HB, so we're going to start with the HB. Now this is how I did the background of the hawklet. I, I went right along the top. I did a row going one way, and then I did cross hatching going the other way. So it took me a little while to do this. As I'm as I'm stroking, I'm turning my pencil every maybe ten or twelve strokes. I'm turning my pencil. This helps to keep a, a sharp point because you're sort of sharpening your pencil on the paper as you go. I'm use, using a really light pressure. As soon as I feel the pencil hit the paper, I start to apply the stroke. Um, I'm lifting my pencil with every stroke. I'm not going back and forth like, like this. I'm just going in one direction, top to bottom. I'm trying to not do all the same length of a stroke. I'm trying to concentrate on varying the length. That's important because if your stroke is all the same length then you're going to have these lines show up like that. Actually it looks a little jagged. It looks a little jagged anyway but that will be useful in um, looking for leaf shapes in the background once this is all completed. I'm not going to complete it all though. I'm just going to um, I'm going to start over on the other end. I'm going to make a big enough square so that I can show you the cross hatching and then to fill in some shapes um, with negative negative drawing negative I don't mean to be negative <laughs> okay anyway. all right so here we go can see where I not I'm trying to hurry now and I shouldn't be because I'm starting to not be consistent in my pressure. All right. So there I'm gonna switch over to this angle now. Let me see. Okay. And then just going totally um, totally perpendicular I guess. Start doing the same thing. Trying to apply the same amount of pressure. Um, turning your pencil. One direction. Okay. Um, now this is the HB. This is probably be about mid, mid um, value. Once you get into two B, four B, five B, the higher the number in the Bs. 
um, the more there is graphite, the darker the color will be, the coarser it will be. So it'll give you a different texture. And of course, the totally opposite goes for your H's. The higher the H number, the harder it will be, the, f the finer it will be. It won't be as coarse. Um, it will also be lighter. So you have to think about that depending on what kind of a texture you want to create. All right, so that's done. So now we will blend it with, just blend it with a snuff. Now, depending on um, what you're blending with, it's going to give a different effect. And just, um, can you see how it's a little bit darker right there? I'm going to use that to my advantage. Um, I'm going to make a leaf look as though there's a leaf there. Um, I'm starting with the HB again, but the way that I'm holding my pencil here, uh, it's looking too dark, darker than what I want. So I'm going to use a 2H instead. And now I'm doing what you call squiggly, a squiggly stroke. So I'm just going to um, try and find the outline of this leaf. Um, I don't know if you can see this happening. A leaf starting to appear. So just really quickly show you this. Don't be afraid to turn your paper. I turn my paper a lot to help um, make things flow. So there's a leaf. Now I can start to see another one, right? there like that. So you can just keep playing with this. So you don't have to totally define it, just suggest it. That's not totally even, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, I can show you more of these different techniques if you're interested. Just let me know, um, and I can do that. Okay, now I'm also going to lift. So here's the kneadable eraser. Say I want this leaf to be a little wee bit lighter, then I'm just going to lay it down. Say I want to have one starting to come this way. I can do that too. And then take and kind of put this shape on top of the other two so that even gives more dimension. Now you can go and clean it off first <laughs> and then just go smooth over it if you like. I like to have the final um, the final layer I like to have pencil strokes not just all smooth. I like if people can look and look and they see all of the nice little wee pencil strokes, whether they're hatched or or squiggled. Anyway, that's how I made some of my background. So, there you go. Hi again. Okay, I just, that other, I was just looking at the video and it made it look like I was doing my strokes with my pencil almost straight up and down, but it's not. 
but the way I hold my pencil is more like on an angle like this. And then turning the pencil as you stroke. I'm sorry, this is, I just want you to see the correct angle of the pencil to the paper. Um, and if I move my hand, see it kind of, kind of like that, kind of like that, see? Yeah. And as far back, the farther back you can hold your pencil, the better, really. And even for the squigglies. Okay. All right. That's all. Bye.